Hey there, dragons. It's your favorite nobody on the internet, Sam Dragon Tear. I'm getting back to doing some uh, map and a mod reviews for ARC. I also think I'm gonna split this video into three separate videos, so if you want to watch just the mod review, you can. If you want to watch just the map review, you can. But anyway, if you want to see more of this, uh, please like, subscribe, hit that bell. I hear it does something, but I'm not sure what exactly. Like, they say you see the videos if you hit the bell, but I don't know. I, I haven't figured out if that's true or not. <laughs> also, if you have any suggestions for other maps and mods I should review, uh, let me know in the comments. I'm always looking for new ones. I just love exploring what other people have made in ARK, and it's it's just all so pretty. I love it. We're gonna check out this map. Taking a break from the uh, usually ride a griffin around. But I love the snow owls because they're foofy. And I don't think there is a handheld map for this yet. So I'm having trouble knowing where I have been and where I haven't. Ooh, ruins. So this is the green obelisk. Yes. We got some ancient ruins around it. I love ruins. Makes me feel like an archaeologist. Alright, let's head towards that big tree over there. That looks interesting. The map's called Pandora. So I kind of wonder if it's like a... Uh, wasn't that planet in James Cameron's avatar called Pandora? I wonder if it's like the... What, the mother tree or something? Whatever their big tree thing was? Or might not even be related to that at all. I have no idea. <laughs> that is a big tree. I'm curious if you can build on this tree. Maybe I'll spawn in a, a tree platform, see if it'll go on there. Or even on some maps I've noticed like the really big giant trees like this that aren't a redwood tree. Uh, sometimes cliff platforms also work on them. Ooh, we got like a swampy area. Ooh, what's that? I know I was going towards a tree, but I found some like tech ruins. I gotta check those out. And I have no idea. Maybe it looks like it used to be an archway of some kind. Okay, so this is interesting. That reflection over there is interesting too, but I think that's just a visual glitch. Oh, this is cool because there's almost like paths going up the tree here. Oh, there's waterfalls coming out of the tree? It's crazy. Oh wow, that's it's really loud. <laughs> Kind of where that path ends. Oh, I didn't want you to land. Yeah, seems like it. I guess you could squeeze around under here. I don't know why, I just want to keep following this path and see if it goes all the way to the top of the tree. And real quick, I'm curious. Will foundations go on here? Oh yeah, you can put foundations on this tree. So yes, you can build up here. That's awesome. Probably. Can you stick cliff platforms at the side of it? I like that waterfall. Oh yeah, it looks like certain spots you can. Yeah, so not on top of it really, but like sticking out the side here. That's cool. So lots of building options. I kind of doubt you'd be able to put a tree platform on it though. Usually the tree platforms, you gotta have like a... the trunk of the tree going straight through the center of it. And this thing, the, the trunk is way too big. Mm, just for shits and giggles, I can try a tree platform though. Yeah, no, that's not gonna... Are these harvestable? Yep. If I can knock them down, that means I can harvest them. Probably not this thing, though. 
This thing is huge. I'd love to live in a giant tree. If I hit the top of the world, I can't go up anymore. I think I have. So this tree is at the very tippy top of the world. But then we can't get up there. What if I want to get up there? And maybe once this map is finished, they'll be... They'll expand it a little bit. So, has our map filled in any? No. They probably do not have the map, handheld map, made for this yet. Oh, you never played Ark? I love Ark. It's really good if you like survival games and dinosaurs. So we got kind of an arctic area here. I can't wait to see what this map's gonna be when it's finished. Are there any, any animals in this area yet? Because I, I imagine this is where the woolly mammoths and uh, dire wolves and stuff are gonna be. I don't see any. So they probably aren't... probably haven't loaded in the spawn points for them yet. I think this is still a fairly new map. In fact, I know it is because they just added all those trees and bushes around where I had my animals uh, for the saddle mod set up. And normally I don't like to fly this low through the redwoods because I'm always getting jumped by thylacolios hiding on the trees, but it doesn't look like any animals are, have been added to the redwoods yet. It's pretty barren, so I'm going to assume there's no thylas. Hey, a little water source there. Water is always important in these games. I wonder if they're going to end up putting a river through here just because this area is so much lower than like these rocky areas here. Alright, let's see what other terrains we can take a look at. Now is this going to be the desert over here it looks like? My snow owl, it might be quieter when it swishes than my griffins. But it does like to chirp a lot. Yes, I see the heat waves. This is definitely the desert. Where are we on the map? I know it doesn't. It kind of shows like an outline of the uh, the land masses. Is that two things fighting over there, or is that just uh, graphics trying to load in? Yeah, no, I think they're just rock details being warped by the heat. Let's see, this looks like kind of a swamp area. With some mountainy things. That's almost close to where we started. I think we're over on the other side of those mountains. Looks like they still have a lot to do as far as adding spawn points for the various creatures and things like that. Not sure what they're going to do with the landscapes, the desert. I mean, it's a desert, so it's supposed to be a little barren, but it doesn't look like they've added any cacti or anything yet. Same goes with the snow area, no trees or anything. That's okay, it's a work in progress, and it's pretty. Oh, I love this detail. Let's get over here. I wonder if that's going to be a full-on stream, or if they're just going to keep it looking like uh, some erosion. Like it's only a stream when it rains. Yeah, I love these details and stuff like that. It looks like this has been eroded away from water. Oh, flap, 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 get to the top. You can do it, birdie. Ah, we made it. Yeah, there seems to be some mountainy areas. I think that's all of a, all the biomes. Is that a volcano over there? We should maybe go check that out real quick. What's this music? It's the first time I've heard music on this map. Ooh, I see black. Looks like burnt rock. I think it is a volcano. Volcanoes are very important. It means you know where to find your obsidian. It's a rumbling sound. Is this thing about to erupt? Should I be concerned? Well, maybe it's not a volcano. I don't think there's an opening at the top. Oh, there is. There's smoke. 
Where there's smoke, there's fire. Or lava. Oh god. Really dark smoke, oh yeah. That would be the volcano. I don't think they've added in the obsidian nodes yet or anything like that, but yes. Metal obsidian, this would be the place. Once this map is finished. Alright guys, I think you've seen the majority of this map, so I'm gonna call that a video. Hold on, is that a small volcano? I just wanna be nosy. Yes it is. Let me get away from the noisy volcanoes real quick. That rumbling was too much, I couldn't think. <laughs> It's a nice detail, though. I like it. Alright, guys. Alright, guys, that is the map. I think I'm going to call it a day. Uh, be sure to like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what maps you want to see me do next, what mods. I'm also looking for some, uh, for a roleplay server to play on. Mine's kind of dead. Nobody seems to play on it. Uh, so you leave me some suggestions. Let me know. Take care.